The Concept of the Political is a 1932 work by the German philosopher, jurist, and Nazi supporter Karl Schmitt. Here, Schmitt undertakes to analyze the political and the way in which it operates in the modern world. His goal is to elaborate on the specificity of the political. He tries to answer a simple question. What is specifically political? What are the fundamental properties of the political? Carl Schmitt famously states that the specific political distinction is that between friend and enemy. In other words, when two groups of people who have different core values meet, the political is born. For Carl Schmitt, this dichotomy of friend and enemy is the fundamental dichotomy of the political. If morality has good and evil as its final distinction, if aesthetics has beautiful and ugly as its final distinction, then political can be encapsulated by the dichotomy of friend and enemy. For Schmidt, this specific political distinction is precisely what political actions and motives can be reduced to. We cannot confuse political with other fields. Political is not economic, political is not aesthetic, and political is not moral. In other words, one cannot make political judgments concerning friendship and enmity by virtue of economics or morality. Schmidt emphasizes that friend and enemy distinction is not private but rather public. Personal enemies are surely conceivable, but they're not indicative of political action. Essentially, Schmidt is describing a way that one group perceives the other. Within the political, these groups perceive each other as mutual enemies. In Schmidt's opinion, the dichotomy of friend and enemy refers to the utmost degree of intensity, of an association or dissociation. Here, association refers to the willingness to fight for a cause in unity with the group, while dissociation refers to the willingness to fight others simply because they belong to a hostile group. Again, for Schmidt, the political enemy need not be morally evil or aesthetically ugly. The enemy need not appear as an economic competitor, and it may even be advantageous to engage with them in business transactions. But the enemy is nevertheless the other, the stranger. For example, it is possible to be enemies with members of a hostile group whom one judges to be ethically good. Also, it is possible to be friendly with the group whose individuals are perceived to be bad. Schmidt's understanding of the political allows him to critique liberalism. In his view, liberalism denies the need for genuine political decision based on enemy and friend dichotomy. For Schmidt, liberalism depoliticizes politics. Finally, Carl Schmidt forces us to think. Is humanity perfectible? Can we only function politically if we fight our enemies? Can we separate moral, aesthetic, and economic issues from the field of political? Thank you.